always meant by software process. So, so here process, software process is nothing but its collection of uh, activities. Or it can be actions or collection of tasks. So collection of activities, actions and tasks that are to be generated or that are to be defined before creating the work product. So here first we need to define all these things. Then only we need to create the work product. So that is meant by software process. So then what is meant by this process framework? So first let us define this and then I will explain you clearly. So software network, it can, software framework it can be considered as so it mainly establishes foundation for complete software engineering process. So how it establishes foundation again by identifying small number of framework activities. So these framework activities are nothing but the ones that are applicable to all software projects regardless of size or complexity. So here process framework it mainly establishes foundation for complete software engineering process. So how it will establish the foundation means First, we need to identify small number of framework activities. So, so by identifying the framework activities, so these framework activities should be applicable to all software engineering projects. So, they should not be restricted to only some, uh, only few limited projects or small projects or larger ones. So, uh, these activities they should be applicable to any project. So, irrespective of size and complexity. Okay, these framework activities should be same for any type of project. So that is how we can define our process framework. Then, so coming to, so here a framework it can be defined by using five different activities. So general framework encompasses five activities. So here we will discuss those activities in detail. The first activity is communication. So in order to perform any technical task, so first communicate and collaborate with the stakeholders. So communicate and collaborate. So before performing any technical task, technical work, communicate and collaborate with, with whom you will communicate, customers and stakeholders. So here stakeholder is nothing but simply we can say he is a shareholder. So uh, it can be, uh, he, this person can be a partner or uh, he can be the person who is having the shares in the, in the organization etc. So if the project is successful then in that case from the uh, profit he will get his share. If project is a loss again he need to face the loss. So that is nothing but stakeholder. Simply we can say it is a, him as a shareholder. So first communicate and collaborate with the customers who ask you to develop the product as well as stakeholders. And then, so here the main intention is first you need to identify the objectives of the stakeholder, right? 
So the main intention of this communication activity is to identify the objectives of the stakeholders and then gather requirements that are necessary. So gather the requirements which are necessary to define functions and features. So based on the requirements of the users and stakeholders, so here we need to include the features while developing a product. So uh, they should like uh, the, these requirements should be according to the ones which are selected by these two people. And coming to the second one. So second one is planning. So planning it mainly defines software engineering work. So it defines software engineering work which describes so it mainly describes five different activities. The first thing is it describes technical tasks to be conducted. So technical task it describes technical task to be conducted. And then risks that may arise. So we need to discuss about the risks as well. So during planning. And then here resources to be required. Resources that are required. And after this work product. produced and finally work schedule okay so during the planning phase so we need to find out tasks to be conducted and then what are the risks that are involved if we develop the product software product and then what are the different resources that are required in order to build the software then work product to be produced and also you need to plan the schedule as well. So the time required to complete the event or the time required to develop the software product. So these are first two phases or first two activities. Coming to the third activity. So third activity is modeling. So which we are already familiar with. Modeling means see, you can be uh, our landscaper or you might be a builder or you might be an aeronautical engineer or you might be an architect. Okay, so you might be anything, anyone but you, you will deal with the models in your daily life. So, in order to understand anything in a better way, what we'll do, we'll just, first we'll create a picture or we'll create a sketch. So, why we'll draw, uh, so before uh, doing any work or before building a product, so why we usually create a sketch of that in order to understand it in a better way. So, if if, uh, if a thing is represented in the form of a picture, then that gives us better understanding, right? So if the picture or the sketch which we created here, if it is not clear, then in that case again, you can even refine the sketch as well. So by including even more raw details into the picture. So that if you refine the sketch, then you can even understand some more raw information from the picture and based on that you can build the task. So simply we can say that uh, how a builder will uh, construct a building. So hey, when we construct it directly, no right? So first we will make a blueprint of that. Blueprint is nothing but sketch. So in order to uh, in order to explain it to the others in a better way, the sketch is useful. 
or else so in order to find how many number of floors are there in a apartment or in a, if it is 2 bhk and 3 bhk uh, flats so how they are uh, structured so how the how the flat looks like after construction so everything can be so we can get the details of all those things with the help of this sketch so that's why that's how the builder is using the model or these pictures in the same way here software engineering also uses this model so this uses various uh, methods or models in order to understand the requirements so in order to understand the customer requirements as well as to design according to their needs so why software engineering so how software how these methods and models are used in software engineering or why we are using means to understand the requirements so once we are clear with the requirements then we can design according to the needs of the user okay so that is the importance of modeling activity so coming to the fourth one so our fourth activity is construction so fourth one is construction so this activity it combines code generation and testing activities so both of them are combined so why we need these two activities means in order to find errors in the code so we need to perform debugging right so you need to check the check whether there are any errors in the program or code or not so that will be done during this construction activity and the last one is deployment so during this activity product will be delivered to the customer okay so product is delivered to customer and this customer will evaluate evaluate the developed product and after evaluation he will provide feedback okay so what happens during this deployment activity the developed product is delivered to the customer and customer will evaluate the developed product after evaluation he will provide the feedback so based on the feedback if any changes are required then those changes will be implemented in the developed software and again it is given back to the customer so this is the entire process software process so these are different activities that are involved uh, in order to develop the software product